Well, Bernie is, that is what we've come to expect from Bernie. You know, after, uh, you know, pretty much whatever Grand Slam it is, after first round loss, he'll come out with something. Um, you know, my uh, relationship with Bernie, we're trying to set um, cultural standards for the Davis Cup and representing Australia. He hasn't, you know, really been close to those in the last couple of years. Uh, so since then, um, I haven't had anything to do with Bernie at all. Um, for me, the, the the biggest frustration is I feel like I really went out of my way to help help Bernie, um, especially when I first came into the role. I spent a lot of time with him one-on-one uh, -on -one at a lot of tournaments, um, tried to get a coaching structure and, and physical team around him to give him the best opportunity. Um, and... You know, at the end of the day, he, he still kept making the wrong mistakes. Um, for me, it was probably the abuse that I copped from him that, you know, in the end, I drew drew a line in the sand and, um, yeah, haven't spoken to him since. Does that continue? Oh, I will. He won't play Davis Cup while I have anything to do with it. So, so you haven't spoken to him since Monday night? You won't reach out to him? It's no. up to him if he wants to? No. I, I, think, I, I think the threats that I've received for me and my family um, that I've had for a year and a half now. Um, I, don't, I don't think anyone would reach out to a person that speaks like that. So. From, directly from Bernie, yes. from his team? No, from Bernie. Like, about the threats, are, you, are they physical threats or...? Both. Like, yeah. you, so... Blackmail, threats and, and physical, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned those threats were for your family as well. Yeah. Um, can you tell us, is that...? Partner or yeah, 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 family, yeah, just close knit family. So, but I still have those. Do you do you feel threatened by them? No. Are they, are they no. empty threats to yeah. you? Um, and how did you feel about the the allegations of preferential treatment for certain players? How did that make you feel? Uh, oh, it makes me disappointed. You know, the biggest thing because deep down, Bernie knows what I've done for him. Um, and you know how much time I've spent, uh, you know, flown up to the Gold Coast to try and put teams around him when he was struggling mentally with certain issues as well, with his family situation at times. Um, so for me, it's it's been more, yeah, just disappointed. You know that that uh, probably the first two years that I was in this role, I so I've been in it for a bit over three. The first two years was pretty much, you know, Bernie and Nick were my two priorities. Um, and, and to, you know, Bernie to come out and, and have a go, but more to get all his facts wrong. Um, that's probably the most disappointing thing. Nathan, can you explain why these threats from Bernard started and how frequently they were? Yeah, well, it started uh, because, um, well, it, was, it started because of black males to do with wild cards. But this was over a year ago. Yeah, and has he stopped now? Or is it stopped? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think he's got my number, hopefully, anymore. Like, what did he try and black it? Like, no, you didn't claim, like, did you claim he's got something on you or whatever? No, it was all with Davis Cup to not play. Oh, so threatening I won't play yeah. him, okay. 